welcome back. Today I'm doing this editorial look. I wanted something high fashion and bold, but still wearable at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, I'm patting this gold paint pot all over the lid just to provide a base and something for our shadows to adhere to. Now we're going to start smoking out the look. I'm taking Smog from the Naked palette and I'm just applying this in the crease and all the way in the inner crease as well. I want this really dramatic, really smoky, we're not wearing eyeliner in this look, so I want it to be really bold. So just start putting it in the crease. It's okay if it's a little heavy, we're gonna blend it out and just start building up the color in an outward V into the inner crease. Next I'm taking Soft Brown from MAC and this is gonna be our transition color to create that gradient. So get that on a fluffy brush and start blending out any harsh edges. You also want to take brown on the inner part of your eye socket, so it's really going to make that look dramatic and bring out the inner corner of your eye. Now to add depth, I'm taking Mulch from MAC and I'm putting this in the crease as well, but I'm not blending it upward as much as we did the smog. So just enter this into your crease in more of an outward V motion. Now I'm taking a matte cream color and I'm just applying this right on the brow bone to highlight it. Now take a clean fluffy brush and start blending out any harsh edges. Now taking Amber Lights from MAC, I'm adding that on the center of the lid and this copper color is going to contrast against the brown and really make your lid look multi-dimensional. Next take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and clean up the edges of your eyeshadow. Since we're not using eyeliner, you want your eyeshadow line to be really crisp and clean. Now for the lower lash line, I'm adding some smog and I'm taking it all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner of your eye and really smoking it out. We're not really going to highlight the inner corner. I'm going to put a little bit of amber lights, but you really just want to smoke out the entire lower lash line. Next take a brown coal pencil and line the waterline. This is going to really bring out the brown that we put in the crease. I'm also going to put some of that coal on the upper tight line of my eye. Now for lashes, curl them. We want them to look really big since we're not using eyeliner. And then put whatever mascara you want on. I'm layering two. I'm using Benefit Fair Real and Maybelline's Full and Soft. Taking concealer to highlight my under eye area and conceal any dark circles. And then I'm also going to put some concealer over my lips since I want them completely blanked out as far as color. Take a translucent powder and you want to set your concealer so it doesn't budge. And then you also want to set your foundation with the powder if you get oily like me. Now to finish the eyes, don't forget mascara on the lower lashes. Then a little tip, take some translucent powder and put them on your lower lashes and your mascara will not run. Now for contouring, this step is really important. I always contour, but especially for this look, you want your cheeks to look chiseled and defined. So take a brown bronzer, one that's matte with no gold shimmer and one that has more of a gray undertone to create more of a shadow, and start carving out the hollows of your cheeks. And also take the bronzer up on your temples. To make the contour more precise, I'm going to take a concealer and conceal right under it to make the line crisp. To add a little bit of flush, I'm using this darkened pink blush, it's a more by NARS, and applying it right over the contour. Next, you want to highlight the tops of your cheekbones. This is also very important. Most editorial looks always use an extreme highlight on the tops of the cheeks. Then take some highlighter on your finger and highlight your cupid's bow and the bridge of your nose. Now I'm taking Dragon Girl from NARS and I'm going to line my lips. This is a more pink based red, but since I put concealer on it looks really pink, but it's actually a little bit darker, but I'm using this to create a base for the stain. Now 
And finally, I'm applying YSL's Glossy Stain in number 9 right on top. This is a juicy, bright, gorgeous red color. And the thing with these stains is that once they dry, they still look like lip gloss. So it always looks like you have lip gloss on and it looks juicy, but it's dry and they don't transfer and they last forever. So I'm just going to apply this first. Then I'm letting the first coat dry for about a minute and then applying another coat right on top just because I want the color to be really intense and bright. And now the hair clips are coming out looking like a hot mess, but we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's very wearable. If it's too intense for you, you could try just the lips or just the eyes, paired with the nude lip, whatever you want. Send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter if you try it out. And thank you so much for being here and watching this, and I will see you in my next video.